means it leaves it open to any kind of polymorph perverse eros uh, at best and is a kind of declaration of independence from social identity or reassertion of a personal stamp of their own social identity. Also, there's a political implication of uh, subversion and rebellion against rigid moral, morale, <coughs> financial, um, sexual, commercial um, rules and regulations imposed by the American government or the Russian government or the Czechoslovakian government or whatever government is trying to repress individual intelligence and uh, delightsomeness. So it seems to be like a, a, a way that almost anybody, educated or not educated, can propose their own genius. Evading all of the uh, social norms and regulations of uh, education and uh, reading and bourgeois virtuosity, you know, <laughs> uh, accomplishment, social accomplishment, yeah. but going back to some natural state of genius where unobstructed uh, uh, delight or unobstructed feeling mm. can be expressed mm. and recognized. So, so where people otherwise thwarted, uh, that's where people that are otherwise, kids that are otherwise thwarted, can actually find an intellectual expression of their highest feelings, or, or their most extreme feelings, and sometimes their highest feelings. Mm recognize sometimes their lowest feelings. And for those who are already uh, hyper-intellectualized and hyper-socialized, it also gives them a way of getting out of the straitjacket of their <coughs> rigid, it's a rigid discipline and joining in with the hoi polloi and joining in with the lower classes in, in a, some kind of Dionysian abandon mm -hmm. and awakening the uh, otherwise sleeping spirit of the middle class kids who come out to here mm -hmm. or encouraging the uh, ecstatic uh, emotions of uh, people who are already kind of aware but have no channel to express it. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a little bit too noisy. Too loud? For my ears, yeah. Yeah. 